Hello Ratbags, it's Jade. Welcome to a quick Valheim guide today, talking through the Abyssal weapon set that you can get. If you go venturing into the ocean biomes, you may come across a barnacle covered little monstrosity, otherwise known as Krakens. Don't ignore these, make sure you go over to them with a pickaxe and mine the barnacles on top, and this unlocks the Abyssal weapon set. Now they do look like floating islands and you can find them closer to other land masses so it's not always just in the ocean but I have found quite a few in the ocean as I've gone past and then simply just pickaxe at them. Doing so gives you chitin or chitin depending on how you want to say it and this unlocks the abyssal razor as well as the abyssal harpoon but be warned it's not all nice and easy. You need to do this pretty quickly and make sure you've got a ship nearby as when you start attacking it a few moments later sometimes it will submerge. So really I've got to be quick, get as much of this as you possibly can because it takes a, f a fair amount of the chitin or chitin to make the new weapons. They weigh around two each I do believe and yeah you've got to get them pretty quickly otherwise this happens. And there's just not much you can do other than try desperately to get hold of some more resources before it sinks underneath you. It, sometimes it is even hard to see it happening because it does kind of sway but this will go underneath and it won't pop up again for a while. Now the good part is there's at least usually two or three of these next to each other so mine as much as you can from one, put it onto your longship or your carver and then go onto the next one but yeah if you happen to not have your ship in the right spot and you're over encumbered or your weight you may end up drowning so be careful. They are pretty tough to get on top of sometimes as well you've got to find the right exact little area to climb on or hope that the water bobs you up and down enough that you can get on top. A bit of jumping and using your run button and hopefully you'll be able to get up. And that's pretty much it. There are some other resources like trees, but it's just normal. There's no other real benefit to harvesting anything else you find here. Just make sure you get as much of the chitin as possible. So why have I said that this Abyssal Harpoon is one of the best spear weapons? Well, it doesn't do a huge amount of damage. In fact, it's pretty above average compared to something like the Flint Spear. But it is a harpoon. It will keep enemies in place relatively soon so that you can go over to them and hack them to death or carry on just hitting them with it. You can see it's stats, it's 1.5 weight, 50 durability, repair station level 2 and you need the workbench level 4 to craft it. It's going to have a piercing of 10, block power 10, parry full 0, parry bonus times 2, knock back 20 and backstab 1. It is pretty heavy as well, it gives you a movement speed of minus 5 too. Honestly, the first time I had it in my hands and I was just messing around with it, I was like way disappointed. But you can see the actual hit range from it is massive as well. Now, you're not actually throwing it, or you are, but the animation isn't there. So you can actually use just the normal attack button. There's no like special attack button with it, unlike the spears, obviously, where you can throw it or you can use it as a melee. You are actually throwing it from distance, and you can pretty much lob it at creatures from far. So, yeah, eventually I got there, and you saw it killed that one straight away. But when I've done it on other creatures, it does seem to keep them in place for a few moments so you can go over and finish the job off. Now you are going to need 8 fine wood, 30 chitin or chitin and 3 leather scraps. So it's not that hard to find, especially if you got lucky enough to find a few of the barnacle creatures in the water on maybe your first journey. And hopefully you've got enough of the chitin onto a boat or onto your inventory without weighing you too much. Next up is the abyssal razor, which is a knife. Weight is 0.3, quality is 1, durability is 100, repair station level 2, slash is 12, pierce is 12, no block power, parry force of 10, parry bonus of times 4, knock back of 10 and backstab of 10 times. Simply put this is going to be the best knife you can find until you get much later to end game content unlocking the dark metal that you find in the plains biomes. Until then this is absolutely a killer. The back stab is times 10, the slash and pierce is 12, the dark metal knife that you can craft later on it only goes up to like 17. So this is definitely one of the best ones you get until you get to that stage. Costs 20 chitin or chitin, I keep saying it wrong probably, 4 fine wood, 2 leather scraps and it has to be a level 4 workbench. Now then again though I'm a bit confused because it says there level 2 star next to the ingredients so that normally means it only level 2 workbench that you can craft both of these but everything I'm seeing in the wiki that give me some additional info it says it's level 4. I was at level 4 with my workbench anyway so yeah I didn't have time to go back in and check but let me know in the comment section if you can craft this at level 2 if you've managed to find some chitin. So yeah, you may get really lucky, go on one of your first adventures, come across some of the Krakens. I keep calling them the Barnacle Monsters, it really doesn't feel like they're Krakens. 
Krakens to me have got big massive tentacles. So yeah, go ahead and combine this with your troll armor, creeping up on enemies and you'll do absolute bundles of damage. Go and hunt down them Krakens now. And there you go, just a little guide. If you're looking for more Valheim content, go and check out my channel and the best in survival games guides and tutorials for all survival games. My name is JPG, I'll see you rat bags later.